Good morning, guys. We got a big day of work ahead of us out in the mountains in the forest. Bolt's just loading up here, or not loading up, fueling up with the T-Rex 600. Just got on the interstate. We This is about five hours north of where, we're, where our farm is, Central California. Me and Bolt are going to help out or try and make a snowmobile club. And the first thing we got to do is actually make trails so people come up, donate to the club, be a part of the club. So what we are doing first is this is like an old forest that used to be used for like logging and it's not anymore it's kind of like a national forest and we got permits to build snowmobile trails through it so we're gonna start i'm i'm kind of just roughing it here i have some of it planned out but uh i want to go over the river a few times over the bridges that would be cool but I, mostly what i want to do is connect so these are actually roads these will be pretty much plowed out um so if say people want to bring their campers up and stay in this spot here or this spot they can but then you actually, these aren't trails, these are roads. So then we'll, we'll make trails from the roads. The snowmobiles can still go on the roads, of course, when there's a little bit of snow, but uh, primarily those will be plowed out. But we gotta make our own trails, forge our own trails. But I think I think we have the equipment for it. I, I, I think we should be able to make it. These are gonna eat up some trees. There are some big trees in there, but I think we'll do good. I think we'll do really good. So Bolt brought his F-450 with it. I think, yeah, he's just fueling up the T-Rex. They got big tanks on them, so I think if we run them for a day, they aren't gonna they aren't gonna run out. He's got the King Ranch 6.7 liter power truck. That thing looks good. You do uh, even as a plow mount. So once we get some snow up in these mountains, that'll be nice. And then I brought my Denali, so things are good here. Uh, the Denali, the Denali is actually squatting quite a bit for being where the T Rex is, but it's just a lot of weight. But look at the King Ranch, man. The Ford looks good. Bolt, you're squatting a little bit too, but not as bad. Like if you look here. I, know. I don't see anything. No, look at your man anymore. Your flatbed would be rubbing on your back tires here. It's kind of hard to tell with a flatbed. What? How is it built? You think so? It wouldn't. Yep. Detach. Let's see. Detach. I'm curious. Your leaf springs. No, no. Okay, it didn't go as much as up as much as I thought, but it did for sure go up. Now reattach. Oh yeah. He squats. He squat. It does. Trust me. Okay. I, I just recorded it, too. You, you can go back more. and watch. Yeah, no, for sure. Mine does. All right. So first place we're going to go is we're going to go up to uh, to to spot one. We're going to call them logging sites or just spots. It doesn't really air. No, not one. That's a marsh. I was wrong. We'll go. Um, we'll go to two here. So that'll be closer. and We can get started. Ready, Bolt? Let's get her done, yep. baby. Get her done. All right, so Bolt's going to lead the way. He knows this place pretty good. Bolt is a uh, really good snowmobile rider. We kind of came up with this idea of making a... We, we heard about this. We heard that the, the National Park wanted to make a snowmobile trail through here for, like, funding. And there's not a lot of snowmobile trails. So we're going to be kind of almost the pioneers in building it. And hopefully, come this winter, we at least have some of it constructed. Again, we have to have so many safety precautions, signs, barriers, telling snowmobilers where to go where not to go there's probably going to be a lot of dangers we're going to run through but we got to be the ones to put down the sign so we're climbing up here again these this is not a trail for snowmobiles um obviously there'll be snow off the sides but we will have these plowed so snowmobilers there is like no hotel this is this is out in the deep now that you can stay in a hotel and drive up here in the morning up to the mountain but what we want to do is have it uh have it where guys bring out their uh, campers, their pole behinds, whatever they want to bring out, mostly just pole behinds, and and their snowmobiles, and then just stay in a site like this. So we were just gonna rent out these sites uh, to um, to kind of fund some of the national forest and like the wildlife prevention and everything. So um, have some of that money go back into the club and back to the forest. So hopefully this will be a good thing. I know we're taking down trees. But essentially, taking down these trees will maybe grow more um, and offer some more funding for the National Forest. So, Bolt, you got your compass out. You know where to go? Yep. Okay. So, we're going to head kind of south, southeast, south, southeast. And I'm pointing it. Make sure my map's good. Point it through here. It's going to get a bit hilly. Let's try and keep it too wide and, uh, and just let these guys eat, start high, and then make sure we get those stumps. We cannot forget the stumps. That could uh, that could be really bad come winter time. You ever hit a stump on a snowmobile? No. Me neither. But I'm sure I'm sure you don't want to. No. That would not be fun. So just go ahead, try and make it. Yeah, about too wide is perfect right here. And we'll just if a tree's in front of you, just go ahead hit it. 
um and and we'll do a little bit of traversing a little bit of left right turns depending on the landscape if there's a really steep hill and we need to maybe make a zigzag down it instead of going straight down the hill kind of see how that plays out all right guys so we just punched through we found the road over here to site three um or like logging site three so we made it from two to three it was a long trip and I, it was a pretty fun one too there were times where we had to evade a cliff or like go up a spine of a uh, of a peak almost so those will be fun to hit on uh hit on snowmobiles we're trying to make it fun on snowmobiles safe trying to you know kind of factor everything in so we we zigzagged all the way through went out went like in between a few valleys there was a pretty cool spot right there then up this spine and then took a left uh, onto the road so cool cool bolt was it fun you like it yeah here if you want to take a break cool off the cabs get kind of hot you can open up your door there cool off a bit but um so we'll, now if you look on the map we'll go from three probably shoot over to five kind of make a straight shot uh there's there's some pretty big hills around here but we'll try and get maybe this south trail built and then i'm thinking about we want to cross the river so uh, we'll have a trail go to the bridges there's only uh there's one two ooh, there's okay we'll probably go to the bridges below 12 that should be the best spot and i yeah i want to go over the river and hopefully maybe later on like a smaller part of the river we have like a snowmobile bridge but that's only in the future we can always expand trails to next summer so ready to set um uh, step there ready to get after it let's uh we we're we made checkpoint one we got to go to two technically five and just follow me we'll try and make it a bit smaller i think we've made it a bit too big bolt but uh yeah we'll just try and be a bit tighter and faster that's good okay Let's yep. do it. The one thing we tried to focus on was to not make it a totally like a straight shot, especially on the first one, so people don't go a million miles an hour. Don't don't have any turns or signs or anything. Uh, now we will place down a bunch of signs. We'll we'll have stop signs, caution signs, like just slow down. Your uh, you know stop ahead signs. So or like there's a cliff coming up. Don't don't veer off or go off trail and all that. Now. Uh, so that, that should really not make a straightaway a straightaway and kind of help aid the travel of it, I guess. But what we're doing now, this one's probably going to be somewhat straight. Besides, we're going to run into a cliff here, Bolt. So get ready to take a left turn. I'm going to take out this tree in front of me. If you want to take out like a left tree and make a left turn here. Going to pass me. There you go. But sometimes when we're making these small trails, having two isn't... It's good, but it's not always the best. It is kind of tight, and I think we're making the trail a bit too wide, but there's nothing wrong with a wide trail. Even more safety. And this forest isn't too dense. No, it's not. Like, we're taking out a bunch of trees. What I'm going to do now, guys, is run a time lapse from this site to the other one. Hopefully, you enjoy. Me and Boulder are tearing it up. We're trying to get absolutely every single stump out. Like a few of these stumps are kind of tough to get the uh the grinder on but enjoy this time lapse guys All right, guys, so we just made it to our next site. So if you, you can kind of see the trail here. Let me run through it for a second, but it opens up here, and then we will need cones. It'll be, it'll be kind of hard even for us to, like, figure out the cones. There's a few spots. See, like, right here, I'm almost lost. But once we get cones down and people start to, like, wear into it. See, I think I'm lost. But I, it, it's almost, like, kind of where we place the cones. Down. But we'll, we'll get that figured out and all that good stuff. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe we need to make it a bit wider. 
I think we need to make it a lot of a lot wider, probably. Is it not wide enough? It's like it's just the the force isn't dense enough. You know what I mean? Like once we play, okay, I think this is where we came. But like once we place the trails or the, uh, and if it's too wide, it's almost like boring on a snowmobile too. So we're trying to figure out that. I think once you get snow down, like I said, and the cones down, I think the cones will be big. We'll place barriers on any time you kind of like partially turn in in like stop signs and stuff. So I just need some arrows. We need to we need to find some arrows. Looking on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. For 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 like a place that sells um like arrows and stuff, but I'm trying to figure that that out. Anyway, we are uh we're, we'll just keep going here, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're deep in the forest. We're alone. Bolt had to go back. He had to get back home, and he wasn't gonna work all day. The sun is going down. I got about three four hours left. I'm gonna try and punch through uh to twelve. It's gonna get a bit steep. You can see the map of elevation and terrain change. I want to head down this valley. We'll do a few kind of windy things. I kind of want to go up here, but we have a bit of work left in us. Uh, fuel tank is about a third left. Now, uh, that should be plenty for what we're going to, what we have left. But guys, we have been just destroying it, taking out all these trails. So I think we're going to be happy with it. And I can't wait for snow to actually come down. It should be clean. Again, we do need signs. Of course, I said that uh, earlier, but things are going good now i am alone like i said so it will kind of i think i'll go like a bit slower it'll just be a bit tougher to uh to go the same speed with two people but that way i'm making sure i'm not making it too big but there are times where i think we made it too small and we might get lost uh when we put down the signs but honestly once the signs are down i don't think you can really miss the trail or like mess it up so that's what i'm pretty happy about but hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh time lapse too and then I want to make this place like all snow adventure, starting with this trail and then maybe, a, you know, a more formal campsites that we make on these sites right here. I think that would be a lot of fun. And then here's a really, really cool log cabin. Maybe do something there too. But let me know of any other video ideas you guys want to see here. Obviously, no snow down, so it's kind of hard and tough to picture what the terrain is going to look like and like what we're able to do. But uh, this region gets a lot of snow, and um, and then there's a river. So there's not too many crazy features around here, but just a lot of change in elevation. I think will be a lot of fun, and we'll, we'll make fun trails through the mountains. And then it, I want to make some like metal spots where you can hit some powder, go off on the side of the trail too. So I kind of got to think about that as I start punching through. Now, for those who haven't used the T-Rex 600, these things are a beast. They Now, it is, uh, like, preferred that I use this. Now, I could use something a little more realistic where the tree doesn't, like, completely disappear. Uh, and that would take a lot more time. And actually mowing down, like, miles and miles of trail would take a really long time. So that's why we're using this. It's somewhat realistic in the fact that, like, it's grinding it. It's a big machine. It actually, you know, it's not just, like, a little stump grinder that takes away you know a little tree so we'll see and then i want to get some gro we have to get groomers too so once the snow falls I'm sure you guys are thinking like spencer how are you how are you gonna you know you have to groom a trail you have to make a base on a trail pack it down so we'll get groomers on here or for those who know piston bullies we'll get large piston bullies that you might see on a ski hill or snowmobile trail or where, you know if you do uh what is it cross-country skiing i know they use those for there too any anywhere you groom snow We'll need a big groomer so pretty much those will just have a, a plow or a shovel on the front that will level out the trail and then they'll have uh the tracks like weigh it down big tracks like this a actually a lot wider of tracks than this uh than this t-rex but and then in the end there's like this groomer thing it's almost like uh it's almost like a planner um it makes like little rows so that uh it, it, the trail just lasts longer and stuff and it, it just grooms it really nice there's the trail guys looking really good well I, and i and even in the snow time we can next season the season after that if we have to make any changes which of course we'll need to like better a trail or there's like a safety corner that needs touched up we can always do that all right so right now i'm heading through this like valley this is going to be a bit steeper too and i'm kind of roughing it i have my map here but i i'm gonna kind of maybe go over here turn around and then we'll loop back to 12 but this is a bit steeper it's uh it's not the cleanest and one thing about these trails is 
you probably won't be able to go like 100 miles an hour like 50 miles an hour just straight away it, it will be zigzaggy it'll be a lot of fun though it won't just be straightaways, and there might be times where you, like I said, we'll, we'll make some pretty cool meadows, too. We can go off, hit some powder, um, some nice spots that are, like, wind-sheltered in case the snow, you know, blows away all the, or the wind blows away all the snow. Which won't happen, because we'll, we'll just make a big circle in the trees, and there should be, like, it shouldn't be that windy. But there we go, we'll keep going, and I want to try and get to site 12. But I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. We will finish a lot of it off camera. Just don't want to make the video too long for you guys get uh, kind of what we're doing. I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. Once we get the signs down and snow finally falls, we'll get out here, do some camping, and get kind of like the business set up side of it too. But for the first season, I'll probably only bring out friends and family, and we'll kind of figure out the trail system, figure out everything, and the campsites, and then we'll start to run it as a business so hopefully you guys did enjoy thank you so much for watching again any feedback that we can do on this mountain it will be primarily like snowmobiling um and you can bring anything with tracks i mean almost we can have like four wheeling in the in the, like the fall time and stuff but well i'll kind of figure that out but any other ideas please please let me know maybe for like the camping side of it please let me know in the comments subscribe like comment all that good stuff and i'll see you all in the next one